You know, we love checking in with CAN Community Health, the group dedicated to health care and non-discrimination. Back with us, Prashard Williams over there, Tampa Bay HIV manager. And I'm excited to meet Jules Folio, HIV prevention specialist, and also the one who is spearheading a very important event coming up. Welcome to the show, Jules, Prashard, always great to see you. Great seeing you. How are you today? Lovely. How are you? I'm well. well Let's I'm talk well. about Can Community mm -hmm. Health a little bit. Say people have not been able to be with us in the past, and this is the first time they're hearing about Can Community Health. What do you tell those people? Um, I tell them that we specialize in HIV, um, STI, hepatitis C, all over the Tampa Bay area. Um, and we go into community as well and meet them where they're needed um, outside of the regular business hours to ensure that we are engaging with the community in a really unique way. And I like how, too, you say you're engaging in the community because you do take, you know, a group that sometimes is discriminated mm -hmm. against yes. and trying to change the dialogue, making sure they're getting help. And sometimes that may even be people who are dealing with homelessness. Yes. Throw that yeah. element in there because that's the basis for this event we're talking about, is right. it not? Correct. Yeah. Yeah. I was going to say, Prashard, what are your thoughts? Yeah, so, I mean, just like he said, we're, we're talking about vulnerable populations and people who are experiencing things that at some point can be stigmatizing. Mm -hmm. um, so they will receive that type of treatment when it comes to health care. And that's really what we're trying to bridge the gap on. We really want people to feel valued and know that they matter. I like, too, that you say a group that sometimes, you know, deals with those stigmas. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, I'm curious, as people in your positions, when you do get out in the community and have events like this, you are meeting people face to face. Yeah. What is that? Do you feel that thankfulness? Do you feel that sometimes like shock of that? Like, OK, I do matter when sometimes people, I think, deal with those feelings of, you know, oh, I don't necessarily matter because of X, Y and Z, perhaps. Absolutely. I think CAN does a really good job of uniquely mirroring the community that we're serving. So it, it puts a lot of value in the staff, clinical prevention, everyone out there doing the work and then creating safe spaces for the community to feel seen and heard. And now an event like this, I want to get this freshen up Best. Yes. What does that mean? I, I'm glad I got it out. I love a good anal a good alliteration. Freshen up fast. What's it all about, Jules? Yeah. So the Freshen Up Festival was originally cultivated around Men's Grooming Day, but yeah. we altered it a little bit in order to be more inclusive to all transient folks or those experiencing homelessness. And to freshen up, I, I know mm -hmm. that's something that I think we take for granted. Yeah. Talk about the benefit and more importantly, the impact that element, those elements can have on individuals who are facing homelessness. Yeah, so what we plan on doing is, is setting up the event in almost like a passport style. We're gonna have different community partners coming there who provide services that will be beneficial to this population. Um, we're talking about haircuts, we're mm -hmm. talking about clothing pantries, things that are gonna help them feel better. Um, you have folks who may wanna apply for a job interview. Oh, yeah. um, and we ha uh, have different partners that are gonna come that can link people to services, re-engage them into care if there's a need. So it's going to be really, really great and we're hoping that all the folks can make it out to see us. Now I'm curious, with a festival like this, mm -hmm. Freshen Up being the focus, will the HIV prevention team and mobile testing be on site as well? Absolutely. In addition to like primary care, dental, a lot oh, of wow. like other services that community partners are coming in with, um, CAN will definitely be there doing the HIV, hepatitis, um, and all of the STI testing and treatment. Well, do me a favor. How can people, one, continue to learn about the events? We're, of course, sharing the website on the bottom of the screen. But how can they get involved? Are you ever looking for volunteers? Do you look for mm -hmm. donations? What are ways that people can give back? And, of course, as we get ready to share the details of this important event. Yeah. Um, definitely get connected with us on any of our social media platforms. We are accepting a lot of donations for gently used clothes, reusable bags, shoes, hygiene products, um, a lot of unique things for for this specific population. Um, but yeah, if you wanted to donate them to us or get involved in the event itself, reach out to us on social media. Good stuff. Great to see the both of you. Thank you.